to say the least. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. With bosses Barry Fry and John Still both having managed both clubs, there was always going to be plenty of edge to this game. As B's defender Mike Basham lay on the ground, Jimmy Quinn and John Ford went for the loose ball. Quinn didn't appreciate Ford's two-footed challenge, and he liked the headbutt that followed even less. 30-year-old Ford is experienced enough to know that this sort of use of the head just cannot be justified. Referee Paul Danson quite rightly sent him off. Now, quite often, ten men prove very hard to beat, but this wasn't going to be one of those occasions. Scott Houghton battled away, and eventually the ball ran through to Quinn. Lacking his first-choice marker, he had no problem beating B's keeper, Nicky Rust, to give Posh the lead. Does the name Giuliano Grazioli mean anything to you? Well, he scored against Newcastle for Stevenage earlier this year, and that was his first-ever league goal. Two minutes later, he'd got his second. Peterborough released him after a goalless first spell with them that gave him another try this season. Mick Bodley is a former Barnet player. He seemed to be suffering from a flashback as he scored this splendid own goal, and the Bees were back in the game, or so they thought. But any thoughts of, say, a point surely disappeared when Quinn's second of the game made it 4-1 at half-time. Grazioli completed his hat-trick soon after the break with a stunning strike. Then he showed that he has pace and skill as well, as he outran the Barnet defence. To make it four goals for him, and six in all for Peterborough. No wonder the fans looked happy. What do you need when you're 6-1 down at home and down to ten men? Another sending off, of course. Warren Goodhine chopped down sub Matthew Etherington. And we all know what two yellows make. Did Posh take pity on Barnett and ease up? Yeah, right. Former Kingstonian fullback Dean Hooper strode forward to score his first ever goal. It had a whiff of OG about it, but I'm sure Phil Simpson doesn't want it. Zeke Rowe provided the service for Grazioli to get his fifth, but by now the cameraman was getting dizzy, and you'll just have to take my word for it. Etherington completed the scoring to seal the biggest ever away win at this level. Barnet 1, Peterborough 9. <laughs>